Wonderful. All right. Thank you for joining me for our Friday evening meditation. This meditation is going to be ever so slightly shorter, about 25 minutes rather than 30 minutes. Um, if it is your first time meditating or if you're just not quite sure what that means, I will share with you my favorite definition of meditation, which is compassionate mind control. So rather than meditation being like an absence of thought or that, you know, we're only supposed to think happy thoughts, it's just when you notice your mind wandering, you're going to gently return your thoughts towards the present moment, towards your breath, towards whatever mental activity we're doing. So um, again, when you notice your mind wandering, you're just going to gently notice that and then return yourself to the present moment. You're going to find yourself in a comfortable seated position. You can either sit on the floor or in a chair. If you're sitting in a chair, have both feet firmly planted into the floor. During meditation at any time, if you feel the need to like shift around because you're uncomfortable, please feel free, but do notice the difference between shifting because you're being distracted by your physical discomfort versus moving around because you don't want to sit still, right? We're going to practice a little bit of stillness. Last but not least, I'll just share sometimes I think you know, when we think about meditation, we think about this guy, our little om gnome, we think we have to look like him, um, but you can come to meditation exactly as you are. There is no such thing as a good meditator or a bad meditator. There are simply people who meditate and people who do not. So for the purpose of today, you're meditating. Good for you. I'm now going to light a candle as a symbolic gesture that we are entering into a more intentional space. So we're being intentional with our thoughts, our feelings, our breath, and our body movement. For the purpose of this meditation, you are welcome to close your eyes. If closing your eyes is distracting. You can keep your eyes open, but maybe do like a soft fuzzy gaze just beyond the tip of your nose. Take a slow breath. Locate where you feel this breath, maybe in your chest or just below your nostrils, in your abdomen. Just starting to check in, tune in. So anytime you really find your mind wandering, it's nice to just return to your breath and notice the texture of your breath, the smoothness of your breath the depth of it, right? This is a wonderful tool to kind of anchor us back into the present moment. As we start to settle into our meditation, just keep in mind that it's, um, there's no destination to this. It's not like all of a sudden, you know, you're meditating or you're relaxed, right? Relaxation, meditation, concentration, these are all verbs. So we're just practicing a little bit of compassionate mind control. It's not like you do it once and then you're there for the rest of the meditation. You're just constantly returning back to who you are, returning back to your thoughts, to your breath. Now that we've been breathing for a few moments, notice what thought patterns or impressions from the day are playing across your mind. Maybe something that happened earlier today or a task that you have to do after class. Maybe just a general feeling and anxiety or a sadness or a worry. Just notice those things, name them, acknowledge them. And then politely set them aside. Sometimes I almost feel guilty for setting things aside. Like I, you know, owe it to that task or that person or whatever it is to be thinking about it nonstop. But actually when we set those things aside, when we go inward, we are able to come back to the people we love and the things that we care about with renewed energy and vision. So if you find that you're having trouble kind of setting aside the day or setting aside, you know, something that's gonna happen after class, just keep that in mind. And then again, just allow yourself to let go just a little bit, just for now, not forever. Just letting go of any worries or cares. 
anything from your past or maybe something yet to happen in your future, just letting that go and returning to your breath. Slow inhale through your nose. Slow exhale through your nose. We're gonna do triangle breathing. You'll inhale for a count of four, hold that breath for four, and then exhale for four. So if you'd like, you can trace the inhale, pause, and exhale as if it's a triangle. Sit up nice and tall, relax your shoulders, relax your face, and begin. Inhale through your nose for one, two, three, four. Hold the breath. One, two, three, four. Exhale through your nose. One, two, three, four. Breathe in. Four, three, two, one. Pause the breath. Four, three, two, one. Breathe out. Four, three, two, one. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Hold. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four. We'll continue with triangle breathing for two minutes. Especially when we give our mind something to focus on, like the breath or even the four count of a triangle three-sided breath. Give our mind something to focus on so that the other stuff running through our mind gets set to the side. So this breathing exercise is nice for practicing concentration, meditation, and relaxation all at once. Again, inhaling through the nose, holding that inhale, and then exhaling through the nose for the same amount of time. If you find your mind wandering, just gently returning to the triangle breath. Inhale, hold, and exhale for the same amount of time. Let's do one more full round of triangle breathing. Whenever you're ready, just returning your breath to normal in and out through your nose. 
Noticing any sensations that might have occurred during the breathing exercise or after. So much of our life is spent scrolling, scrolling through television channels, through food options, of course, scrolling through our phones on social media. And this starts to take root in our mind as well. Our mind is constantly scrolling, heart constantly scrolling. And at a certain point, it's exhausting. Can even picture whatever that scrolling is in your own life again whether it's on your phone or the television or maybe flipping through you know news articles feel what this scrolling feels like to you and there's no right or wrong answer but what sensations come up in your body where do you feel the sensations with scrolling what are they how does it make you breathe or sit? And then just picture yourself stopping, right? Either putting down your phone or turning off the television or putting the news away. Notice how that feels in your body, just to be still. Where do you feel that stillness? Does it have a texture, a color, a temperature? Again, no right or wrong answer. Just noting the difference between what it feels like to scroll through life and what it feels like just to be still. The scrolling technique is a really wonderful way to numb or to distract. And so it's natural that sometimes when we stop it, we actually feel a little bit anxious. Maybe relieved. Then also, oh, I'm still, right? Maybe there's some feelings around that. Give yourself permission just to be still and to be exactly who you are in this moment, not how you think you should act or what you think you should be you know, feeling right now. I have a friend who always tells me, I don't meditate because the few times I have meditated, I just get really angry. And he says it kind of jokingly but I always respond with, well, that's okay, right? Meditation isn't just rainbows and butterflies. If you're angry in the moment, meditation is a wonderful opportunity to allow yourself to feel that. Allow yourself to feel what it feels like to be still and to breathe into your body without a right or wrong answer, without anything to prove to yourself or to anyone else. Just let yourself be exactly who you are in this moment. Breathing in and breathing out. Without opening your eyes or looking around, imagine exactly where you are in time and space. So on your floor or in a chair, right? Parts of your body are making contact with the ground. What room are you in? What's surrounding you? We often talk about a sixth sense as if it's, um, you know, something out of a movie. 
but we all actually do have a sixth sense of perception, right? That, you know, and you have to get up and go to the bathroom in the middle of the night and um, without turning on the lights, you're, you're able to find your way, right? Because subconsciously you have that imprint of your home and that well-traveled path. So even though you're not necessarily looking at your surroundings right now, you're, you're aware of where you are. And this is also a powerful tool, this imagining of reality, right? You don't actually need to see it to believe it. You already know exactly where you are, who you are in real time and real space. Imagine looking at yourself from above. A bird's eye view looking to the crown of your head, just you sitting here, breathing, meditating. Zoom out a little bit more, maybe to the floor above you or floors above you, eventually the roof above you. the trees and the treetops. Zooming out a little bit further to the surrounding area, which you probably also can picture. Now, almost as if you're lovingly looking at yourself from way above, maybe from outer space or just beyond or below the ozone. And it's interesting, even though I don't think anybody in this meditation has ever been to outer space, right? We can still picture it without opening our eyes. It's imagination, but it's also real. So imagine looking down at yourself through the clouds, through the treetops, through the roof, through the floors to where you are. Imagine looking at yourself with deep love compassion, the way that you would a dear friend. And just sending yourself a little bit of love, a little bit of encouragement, that it's okay to be still, you're safe. You can just sit here and breathe in and out through your nose. Now, without lifting your head or opening your eyes, imagine lifting your head without actually doing it and looking up to the ceiling and then, you know, to the roof and then through the tree lines and the clouds, looking up at yourself, compassionately looking at yourself. A sense of perception, compassion of knowing. Meditation gives us an opportunity to look at ourselves lovingly. And then it weirdly gives us an opportunity to look at ourselves, looking at ourselves and observe the observance. So what do you observe and how you're observing yourself? Are you being hard on yourself? You may be rolling your eyes a little bit. This is kind of a weird brain exercise. Are you being as nice to yourself as you would be to a dear friend? Just observing what happens when you give yourself permission to be still and go inward, breathing in and breathing out. So you're looking up, looking at yourself, looking down at yourself. 
Let's then merge those two states of being back together. Like you're going back, you know, from the clouds to the tree line, back into yourself. As you sit still and breathe. And just giving yourself permission to stop the scrolling, to stop the outside chatter, and just be here with your body. Bring your full awareness to your left big toe as if nothing else in the world exists. It might sound a little silly, it's a wonderful opportunity to hone your mind control, your focus and concentration in a compassionate and safe way. Bring your full self to your left big toe and relax your left big toe. Now put the spotlight of all of your attention on your left second toe. Relax your left second toe. Breathe into middle toe, fourth toe, relax left little toe. Now bring your full self to your right big toe as if nothing else in the world exists. Relax your right big toe. Breathe into right second toe. Relax right middle toe. Fourth toe. Little toe. Soften through the tops of your feet, arches of your feet, heels and ankles. Relax your calves and shins, kneecaps and backs of the knees, hamstrings and quadriceps. Release any tension from the inner thighs, outer thighs, space between the thighs, relax your pelvic floor. Relax your hips and your glutes, Lower back, lower abdomen, while still sitting up. Soften through the torso, the abdomen, sides of the torso, lower back, middle back, upper back, while still sitting up. Relax through your chest, your collarbones, let your shoulders be heavy. Relax through your armpits and upper arms, softening elbows and forearms. Relax your wrists, your palms, backs of your hands. Now bring your full awareness to your right thumb, just practicing a little bit of concentration meditation, compassionate mind control. Relax your right thumb. Bring your full awareness to your right second finger. Relax right second finger. Middle finger. Fourth finger. Breathe into right pinky finger. Place the full spotlight of your attention, your consciousness on your left thumb as if nothing else in the world exists. Relax your left thumb. Second finger. Middle finger. Left fourth finger. Breathe into left pinky finger. Soften through your hands, palms, arms, and shoulders. Bring your awareness to your throat, your neck spine. Relax your neck. Relax your jaw. Relax your chin, your lips, tongue, back of the tongue. 
Soften through your gums, the roof of your mouth, each and every tooth. Relax the space between your upper lip and nose. Soften nostrils and bridge of the nose, cheeks and ears. Relax outer ears, inner ears, space behind the ears. Let your earlobes be heavy. Relax your eyebrows and eyelids. Let your eyes be heavy in their sockets. Soften your eyelashes. Relax your temples and the space between your brows. Let go of any tension in your forehead. Soften your hairline, crown of the head, scalp, every hair follicle. Notice if there's a certain part of your body still carrying tension. Let it go with the exhale breath. Notice if there's still a certain part of your mind, your heart, or your body that's still scrolling, that could use a break. Consciously, intentionally allow yourself to be still just for a breath, just for this moment. Stop scrolling through your mind, through your heart, and just be here now. Take a slow inhale through your nose and a slow exhale through your nose. Breathe in and we'll go a little deeper into your stillness through the exhale breath. You are welcome to stay in this still space for as long as you want and know that it's something you can always come back to whenever you need a break, whenever you need to be still both physically, but also being still mentally, emotionally, spiritually. You're welcome to stay in this relaxed state. Otherwise, at the count of three, you can open your eyes or make any movements that tells your mind body connection you are shifting gears. Breathe in through your nose. Slowly breathe out for three, two, one. I am going to blow out this candle now as a symbolic gesture that our meditation time is over. And I am letting the smoke from that candle clear the air as a reminder that um, our mind, but also our literal space around us changes through our perception through meditation and intentionality. Thank you so much for joining.